approaches coming at them. They're seeing Kong from this side and T-Rexes from the other side. Working on a movie, we always know where the people are looking. They're looking straight ahead, they're looking at the shot that we're working on. Here you have to take into account that people are looking in all directions. Also, one of the things about this ride, unlike the movies that we're used to working on, there's no cuts because it's one giant shot. This tram that's driving along through Skull Island is where the camera's from. This ring represents the where the screen is 10 meters away. We're really creating about 50 minutes of a feature film. That amount of visual information, that number of pixels, and presenting them to the audience, it's a hell of a ride. Now, King Kong is awesome, but he is still a monster. Sneak King of Monsters. Uh, that's a monster's mural coming up on the right hand side. Uh, the person behind this mural is world renowned graffiti artist Tristan Eaton. Thou shalt rise again. It is a colorful tribute to some of our classic monsters Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, and his bride, the Wolfman, and the Gilman, aka Creature from the Black Lagoon. It is coming up on the right hand side. You see it, it's really beautiful, it's very colorful. He is such a great artist. That was so cool, look at that, look at the mural. Uh, not too far away from mural, coming up on the right hand side, next to the stop sign, you'll see a really strange contraption uh, that looks like a short silo. Uh, that is our underwater tank. It allows the director, the crew, and most importantly, uh, the camera to stay dry while they shoot through the hatches on the outside of the tank. You can see one of the hatches from here, shows like Alias, Fear Factor, Seinfeld to have all utilized this tank. Speaking of water, there's a lake coming up on our left. Uh, this body of water is what we call the Hollywood Ocean. On the other side of this lake, you'll see a series of sand ages. These are also our new sand ages, sand ages 30 to 33. Uh, stages 30 and 31 have been home to The Voice, season 26 will premiere uh, next month with coaches, Reba, McIntyre. Oh, wait a minute, look. That's the creature in the lake. <laughs> From Creature of the Black Lagoon. That is so creepy, right? You know, in 1954, this lake became the Amazon River in our 3D monster movie, Creature yeah. From the Black Lagoon. There he is. Classics. Uh, this year marks the 70th anniversary of this 3D classic. Uh, Universal is home of the horror film and uh, monster movie. Our legacy stretches from Dracula in 1931 to the upcoming Dark Universe at Universal, Epic Universe, opening next year in Orlando. On the right hand side coming up, you see our little, uh, little Europe. Uh, I'm going to say it one more time. Little Europe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, we invented the horror movie genre right here on the right hand side. That's why it is the most historic location on the lot. It is also versatile by changing the set decoration and the languages on the signs. We've taken audiences across the globe to destinations such as Cairo, Egypt in the 1932 film The Mummy, at Paris, France in the 1923 film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Transylvania in the 1931 film Dracula starring Bella Lugosi. We've also taken you to the afterlife. Right now we are in the good place where the streets are lined with frozen yogurt shops and stores where everything fits. These were the exterior sets for our critically acclaimed comedy starring Ted Danson, Chris Bell, and Manny Jacinto. You, Eleanor Shellstrom, are dead. Cool. This location, the afterlife, come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. Hi there. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Oh, what a great show. Uh, now on the right-hand side, you can see uh, the court 
of miracles. Uh, quaint European street sets were originally originally created as Germany in 1930 for our first Academy Award-winning Best Picture, All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, uh, the name Court of Miracles came from the Parisian Square in Victor Hugo's 1831 novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, so All Quiet on the Western Front is our first ever Best Picture Oscar winner. Our most recent is Oppenheimer Universal has a total of 11 Best Picture Oscar winners. Um, Oppenheimer is our first Best Picture to film here on the lot and inside Sound Stages since the sting 50 years ago. Speaking of Sound Stages, today we are taking everybody inside a Sound Stage. We are about to enter Sound Stage 50, the only Sound Stage in Hollywood that has two levels. At the second level is fully dressed. It looks like a busy urban street scene. This level, the ground level, is also dressed. It is actually a hot set, meaning everything is ready for filming. The crew is taking a break right now, but they have left everything ready for the next shot. So please don't touch anything, stay seated. You can take as many pictures as you like. Just don't touch anything, stay seated. Uh, you may know that last year we closed the earthquake attraction that stood on this part of the lot for decades. We have made way for this new and rivaled state of the art South Age that's already in high demand. This place looks amazing. It looks like a subway station. On the right hand side, right next to car one, I can see you. Welcome to San Francisco. How cool is Uh oh, what is happening? Everybody stay seated. Schedule. 